Hi there, it's Johnny Miller from Point Blank Online Music School, back once more to show you some cool tricks with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Uh, today I'm putting together a little kind of R&B sketch and um, I'm using some sounds from Prime Loop's Dirty South Wars 2, <laughs> which is uh, a pack, really cool pack of construction kits from Prime Loops. Um, if we go to the full mixes folder, I'll play some of this stuff. So you could use this for, you know, pop production, R&B and hip hop production, but also stuff like dubstep as well. So what we essentially have a series of full tracks and then if I go to the construction kits folder those tracks broken down into separate parts so all the claps from the track all the drums from the track the hats the synths so you can either recreate the song and kind of make your own arrangement um, from the component parts or you could take you know a hat from here and a snare drum track from one of the other kits and make up your own track but they've all got this kind of similar flavor the other thing that you can always do with construction kits as well is they tend to come with drum one shots and these are great if you want to put together you know basic drum kits uh, where all the sounds are kind of related um, so we've got a really nice folder of all the claps that are used in this construction kit and for again for hip-hop production uh, R&B production, pop production right now as well. These are ideal sounds to use. Okay, what I'm going to do, let me close down the browser and I've, let me show you this little sketch that I've got here. And again, this is using um, just some loops actually from the ice cold um, construction kit from Dirty South 2. And uh, if I play it through, I've got a kick element and a snare element. And in this tutorial, I'm going to use a couple of lives effects, I'm going to use Amp and Cabinet, which were additions to Ableton Live 8 in one of the recent updates. I'm going to use these devices to add a little bit of warmth and uh, character to some of these sounds. I'm going to use Amp on my snare to add a bit of noise. And as I go through the different parts, I've added some hi-hats here, again, just one of the other loops. Got a bass part here too, a synth, and an organ. I'm going to use cabinet on the organ just to warm it up a bit and give it a bit of character. Uh, maybe also use amp on the, uh, the synth or the bass, one of those two. Let's start with amp and uh, I'm going to load the amp device onto the snare sound so to add a little bit of noise to this snare. Now at the moment the snare sounds nice, it's quite tight and clipped. I want it to be a bit grittier than that. And there's a few different ways to do this but amp, using amp's quite a, a cool way to do it. If I just drag in here the clean amp preset, you can hear what because the wet dry is on 100% at the moment, you can hear what noise is being added by way of amp. And I'm just going to bring the wet dry value down. And I'm also just going to push the mid, uh, the middle. So if I AB that now, if I turn amp off, you can hear the noise that's been added. There's my kind of clean, tight snare without amp. And then the slightly grainier, slightly more uh, presence in the top end, in the mids and tops on that snare now. It's almost like I've added a kind of layer of noise and hiss on top of that and brought out the nuances from the top end of that snare. Just gives it a little bit more grit. Now I'm going to bring in uh, the synth, and this is another part that we could use the clean amp preset on, again just to add some noise. So if I AB this now, I brought the wet dry down again to about 15%, listen to the difference. So that's the clean synth, 
And that's with the added noise. Lastly, on this organ part, I'm going to add cabinet to emulate the sound of a live recording. Uh, this is a really, really cool effect, actually, in Ableton. If I drag it in, we've got uh, a speaker control and then microphone and output settings. And uh, what we're going to do here is design a, uh, a live recording setup. So if I click on the speaker menu, this gives us all the different options of speakers, virtual speakers that we can set up in our virtual recording studio. So the 1 times 12, 2 times 12, 4 times 12, 4 times 10, and 4 times 10 bass. Those numbers represent how many speakers there are and the uh, diameter of the speaker cone. So 1 times 12 is one speaker, one 12 inch speaker. I'm going to select 4 times 10 bass. So that's going to be, if you can imagine, in a studio would have four speakers that are bottom end heavy. Um, with 10 inch cones. So I've selected that and now I need to select the microphone that I'm going to place next to those speakers in, in my virtual recording studio. Where the speaker is actually placed and in this case I'm going to set it to far and I'm going to use a condenser mic and the condenser mic is a high quality mic that's ideal for uh, miking up speaker cabinets like this from a distance. It's going to retain the quality of the sound but it's just going to add a nice bit of warmth. Then I can choose to take the output from mono to dual, so stereo output so we get much better sound quality um, and uh, I can choose then to bring the wet dry. I'm going to keep it at 100% because I want all the signal to pass through cabinet. Okay so I'm going to turn that off for a second and play the organ. And now when I bring the, org, the cabinet's uh, device on, you can hear what it's done. It's given me a slightly deeper, richer sound. Let me A-B that again. So that's the clean, unaffected signal. And that's with cabinet, emulating these four bass speakers mic'd from a distance with a high quality condenser mic. Let's try some different settings. Let's try it two, over tw uh, two times 12. It's a slightly different feel for the organ. Let's try close micing it. So that's brought out a little bit more of the mids and tops. And this is a nice thing to do. Play the, the instrument like this. Work around the different speaker and microphone settings till you get what you want. And also where the organ sits in the mix as well. Because this is giving us different kind of colour for the organ. With each setting we're getting a slightly different colour for the organ and that might be a determining factor when you mix down. So you might actually come back to this element on mix down stage and tweak some of these settings, to change the speaker setting, change the microphone setting so that the organ then sits better into your mix depending on what else you have in this track. Um, but for this track I've gone with a 4x10 bass uh, speaker and I've gone for far microphone uh, placement with a condenser mic. So that's how you could use amp and cabinet in your set to add noise and warmth to certain in, uh, instruments that you might feel are a little bit too clean. Okay, you can learn loads of cool stuff like this at pointblankonline.net and uh, I'll be back again next week to show you some more tricks with Ableton Live 8 and sounds and samples from clickproduce.com. Peace. Bye. <laughs>